actually down at my mother's right now and it is a wonderful Thanksgiving well we had a wonderful Thanksgiving last night and she helped me um, really put a lot of work into these scrap packs so they will be headed your way today um, they should be on the Etsy or not the Etsy shop um, there's already one in the Etsy shop all of these should be on the LMD shop and they will be available at Black Friday prices um, I think the only ones, there's a select few that I didn't list on Black Friday prices. That was Robin Hood um, and the Corrupt 5x7s. They're so popular that I just kept them re regular price. Um, I, I can't keep them in stock and I can't make them fast enough. So I think they are really at a great price as it is now. Um, just, just as many people has been purchasing them, that alone says enough. So... <clears throat> but right now excuse me by the way I'm still getting over whatever I had um, all of my basics are currently five dollars off that will last through December 1st um, so if you guys want to head on over to littlemissdaisy.square.com and you can take advantage of the build your own basic sale most of them are five dollars some of them are more than that my triangles are currently nine dollars off right now and i know there's one or two other ones that uh, i did ten dollars off on i can't remember off the top of my head but there are a select few that you get a really good deal on so definitely go check them out now um, that I've officially talked your head off <laughs> let's get into looking at these lovelies and uh, don't think that these five are the only ones I got 12 total or 11 or 12 I can't remember which total okay so they're all gonna come with this beautiful clip but I ran out so I had to order some thankfully you know it was black friday so i got them for a really good good bargain and so uh if you order any of these before monday and you hope to get them out in the mail by monday they may be a day or two late because i still have to add this clippy on some of them and uh just i just thought i should let you guys know that see all the ones that need clips I went ahead and attached their charm to the elastic piece this way I would have it all set up and ready to go and I wouldn't lose them and of course they're closed with binder clips for now until I'm able to get the clips to keep them closed so let's uh, put these aside and we will get into these beauties good job now that, you know, I throw my camera everywhere. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to start off with this lovely, as you see, you have the Eiffel Tower and this beautiful, um, uh, amber stone and it's very vintage and blue at the same time um i just realized that i think my lens needs cleaned okay i think that's yeah that's much better i don't know why but it just it feels too blurry to me maybe it's because i'm not at home and under my my good lighting and have my good tripod so uh this one is obviously the vintage with the blue and um, I really liked how this had like an orangish hue to it. And um, my mom asked me why I did this with the gold background. And she, because she thinks it blends in. Personally, I think not only yeah. does it blend in, but at the same time it pops out. So it's kind of got a good contrast along with a good blend. It's about 50-50, which I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it, it I just liked it. <laughs> And, of course, you have all these beautiful scraps going on. This wonderful paper that matches everything in here. Obviously, this one is definitely color-coordinated. And, of course, you have this wonderful, beautiful pocket with these orange buttons in the back. 
and this long beautiful twine and then on the inside of the pocket you have a few extra goodies you know maybe that you are just don't want to fold and they're the perfect size to do stuff with so that has some goodies in there as well and you just go ahead and lift it up a little bit and wrap it around and around just like so <clears throat> and it's ready to go so this lovely will fit perfect on your little shelf you can use it <clears throat> so this is elastic that holds this paper in that's what um, constituted constitutes it as a flowish journal it's because it has all these loose pages in it that can be taken in and out at any time this can be used as a flowish journal it can be used as a scrap holder or a kit holder for specific journals and it could be used as a traveler's companion granted this is not a standard traveler's notebook size but it is a good idea for something small like this that you could cover in fabric and keep as a traveler's notebook and carry with you and do maybe you know one little signature at a time and then have these pockets and things to hold your goodies and this loop to hold your charms or this little clip here to hold your charms for whatever it is that you happen to be working on I just think it's wonderful um, the reason why I designed these was I was having a hard time keeping different stuff for different or <coughs> excuse me I was having a hard time keeping different stuff in different journals organized in different bins so having one of these works perfect where you can take it out and set it with whatever journal you're working on and have all of your little goodies in one place and it cleans everything up nicely and keeps it all organized that's why I think these things are amazing so all right now let's now that we are pretty much done explaining them for my newcomers um, for those of you who've been with me for a while you will know what these are um, of course this one needs the clip now let's just dive in and take a look this one has a big beautiful pocket it's the same at twirls and untwirls there's goodies in the pocket and you have all of this wonderful beautiful paper that matches this specific kit and even if your journal that you get this for it like like say you're using it for a current project and then you empty it out and get ready to do a new project and your new project doesn't match this that's okay this is just like the holder for everything it's, it just retains everything while you dump it into your new project so I mean it doesn't have to match unless you're physically gluing it to the poor scrap pack in which case you might want it to match okay so this one also needs a clip it has all these wonderful pages here or pages papers and again more beautiful amazing paper and this is all scraps of my hand dyed paper whether it's scraps or it's stuff that was full size and I I tore it down so you could have some scraps to play with and see this is elastic it's like this in all of them and you can put in two or you can just put in one um, so this way you know maybe you don't want to buy a full stack of paper and you just you want to test it out and play with it so in here there you have a few goodies and this one opens up extra wide for stuff and extra goodies in there and of course it has a nice little extra pocket here I love these two these purple buttons um, you'll see them again I have them on another one so and that one is ready for you to use on all of your goodies the clip will actually stay on here better than these binder clips. That's why I'm really excited to finally get a get some binder or get the clippies for these. Of course, I need and you can cut these off. That's your choice. I leave them because it's to the discretion of whoever is getting them. Now, like this one, I'm having some problems with 
but uh, I don't want to trim them off and have whoever gets this to want them. And I think this one actually got caught in with another one and got some string stuck to it. But uh, you can whack these off if you want. You can leave them on. Um, and see this clip normally goes on the side so it usually wouldn't be affected by these. Um, I'm actually probably going to trim some. Yeah, see it got caught in there the other day and I just broke it off. Because I was getting a little frustrated, kind of like I am now. There we go. Okay. Now it's out of there. Much better. All right. So got a little key and this beautiful red stone and this heart that says made with love. You'll have a clippy that goes on there so it can clip to right here. And I love this. This is made from the Tim Holtz paper. And look at all that beautiful gorgeousness. gorgeousness. You got this wonderful gold pocket and of course you open it up and on the inside you have some goodies there's a little flap here maybe you want to stick a business card or some special pieces you're working on or an ATC you never know and I, I got some gorgeous paper into this one and of course uh, look I think I, yeah, I did add a little bit of extra orange color not too much though I didn't want to stand over be overdone so and again this is what you would call a flowish style journal if you wanted to keep it this way and you know maybe actually decorate them as is I think I've seen a couple of them and they're actually really pretty and of course you got the each one of these lines here is a separate pocket and you'll kind of see when you purchase them how you can slide uh, different lengths into different stages. It's kind of like a, a ladder. So it's, it's pretty neat. Oh my, we still have quite a few more to go. Alright. This one actually, yeah, this one you need the, uh, the, it has this beautiful, like, it looks black right now, but it's actually like this beautiful dark amethyst. And it needs a clip. Now this is the other one with those pretty purple buttons. See, look at the, look at those. Look how pretty. It's got that beautiful pattern. Now this one has some really cool unique pieces on the inside that have these girls on them and I pre-cut them and everything just so you guys guys could whoever gets this one could have a few extras like that to play with. So that's gonna be really cool. And kind of a surprise feature. So and of course you know you have some of these wonderful scrapbook scraps that you can play with and some beautiful colored paper and I tried to keep it to purple and brown although it was funny because I had to dig through like what little I had oh yeah and that's right um, mom helped with these so she chose out these uh, swatches of washi so some of these have these wonderful wonderful um, little watch washi areas here where you can, you know, place a couple of strips of washi and take them with you on your trip without having to take the whole roll or say a roll is almost empty and it's driving you crazy but there's still just a little bit left on it so you can't bring yourself to throw it away. Take that little bit and stick it on one of these and now you have storage for your little bits and pieces of your washi and you can throw the roll away or upcycle it, whichever you choose. I think it thought once I thought of this and brainstormed it, my my mind kind of exploded. I was like, "Whoa, that's that's really cool!" So, you technically have four sheets here to work with for space. So you have a lot of space here for as much washi as you want, and of course another step ladder style form of pockets. And you got this this wonderful girl in the front. I really really like her. There we are. And this one has its clip. So of course it has the loop on the top. 
and it has this wonderful clip and you got a tree and this is more of a dark green emerald and uh, you'll be able to see the photography of these better um, if they're listed on the website if I haven't had a chance to there may only be one photo if you want to request to see more photos because I just haven't had the chance uh, here's the other another step ladder um, because I haven't had the chance to go ahead and get them fully up there on the site message me and um, as long as I have them with me I will go ahead and send you extended photos of the scrap packs these are so pretty because my phone holds a lot of memory, but it's still limited. So I have to dump it every now and then. So you know, if it's like December 2025 and you're watching this, I probably don't have those photos on my phone anymore. And of course, this wonderful pocket. And on the inside, of course, there's wonderful goodies stuffed in and tucked there. I love this button. It's extra beautiful and so pretty and this fuzzy string is so cool too it is a little stretchy though um so when you're wrapping it be careful not to pull too hard on it because um it can obviously cause a little tension on this bottom button and you don't want to accidentally rip it out it's it's definitely in there really good and it's going to hold up for years to come as long as you're not pulling on it. I don't remember, remember these are paper crafts. You can't pull on it like it's just cemented in there. So I'm just, you know, letting you know to these are paper crafts and to be a little careful. Alright. This guy is ready to go. Oh, and um, on these ones too, when I return back to Tucson, I will probably be putting a few, a Tim Holtz sticker, like those inspirational um, ones done label maker style. I'll probably put one on the cover of each one. If you're requesting these before I've had a chance to do that and you wanna make any suggestions, uh, please go ahead and comment away when you make your order. All right, here's this lovely, I love these flowers. I need to pick up more because I used my last two on this batch. So we got this beautiful, gorgeous peach flower. So pretty. I don't know. So I moved it in a little bit closer. Um, I'm, I get better quality that way. So I just did that intentionally so we can see some of this a little better. Much better. All right, and here's the the step ladder again, um, and you see how you can see through to the back side. So it just depends on which level you put it in at. Obviously, I didn't have as many small pieces for this one as I did for others. Um, some of them I were limited on. And of course, I gave you guys more of this paper if I was a little bit more limited on the scrap paper. But I try to step it to the best of my ability. And of course you have this beautiful pink one. With these beautiful buttons. And of course this will open up. And there's extra goodies on the inside of here as well. <clears throat> I kind of want to go back a little bit. and Yeah, so you guys can see them. At least these. There, so you can see the green a little bit better on oh, no, that still looks black and of course with this one you got oh I don't even think I showed you guys this one you're probably like show it to me you didn't even show it to me oh, I don't know what's going on with it either it's kind of there we go it was caught on itself a little bit so you have this beautiful pink stone and this one. And of course this one needs a clip. And it says made with love here. See, there you go. And this one as well. This one has this eight. And this one was the purple one. 
Okay, this one's going to be really hard to see. Um, I'm probably going to have to do uh, some sort of high lighting when I photograph it to get the color to show through so you guys can see it. Because it's really, really dark. A dark, beautiful purple. And here's this one. Oh, uh, I have a phone call, guys. I will be back with you shortly. Okay, guys. Mama Bear wanted me to make sure I was checking the pressure cooker because we're canning some stuffs. You know, work, 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 work. <laughs> All right, so we have this, this beautiful redstone and this beautiful key. And that's for this one. And on this guy... You have the Florida Lee, the beautiful white crystal, and of course the beautiful silver heart that says made with love. And of course on this guy, you have made with love, the Eiffel Tower, and this beautiful, beautiful amethyst, no not amethyst, amethyst is purple, amber, amber stone. Alrighty, let's get back to our other ones. We only have a few left. And a honey bun that is supposed to go to Dad's. <laughs> I don't know why my mom threw that in there. She probably didn't want me forgetting to give it to him. <laughs> oh, she's funny. Okay. So we have this lovely. And it needs a Tim Holtz sticker. And we have Made with Love. We have this beautiful... It's uh, another amber... It kind of brings out the gold tints, if you can tell. It's just very beautiful. And a beautiful little wing. Even though it's not a moth wing, I figured it was still a wing. Okay, so I love this pocket. It is downright beautiful. Um, there's only one other one that is going to be Velcro style. This one will not have a button on it because I wanted to be able to see the beautiful moth. And here's the other one, but as you can see, I didn't want to end up doing that and covering up anything. So I just kind of left it in here and you guys can play with it if you want. And you can also see that this is vellum see-through. So really, really pretty. You can see what's going on under there. And of course you got lots of goodies stuffed in here. And the fact of, I love it, that it's Velcro. So there will only be one other one in this set that will be Velcro. I haven't put the Velcro on it yet because my dots are at home. And when I get the chance, um, when I get home, I will definitely put it on there and, and get it out as soon as possible. Um, bunches and bunches of beautiful colors here and beautiful papers that were obviously um, scraps that had to be thrown in to match. It's just wonderful, beautiful colors. And again, this one has some washi involved going on here. So again, you have these technically four sheets front and back to store any washi on it you want whether you're taking it on a trip or you just want a place to slow store that last tidbit on your roll now as you can see this ladder is um, not full at all I didn't have very many sc small scraps with this set um, and I am very sorry about that but it is what it is so uh, you definitely get to see the ladder in all of its glory and how beautiful this one is. This one is actually my favorite one out of the set that I did. All right. And it's wonderful too because it folds this up. It folds over the ladder and then stores away really nicely. I love those little washi things. It was just such a wonderful idea. All right, here's this wonderful red one, and it has the number five and a beautiful red charm. Now, if you are gonna use this loop to hang charms on, you may wanna cut the strings, but if you're just gonna leave the loop there as like a grab-a-hold-of loop, 
then they're you know, the strings are usually fine. And because I'm just holding these loot these here temporarily until I can put the clip on and install it right here, um, that's why they get tangled in the string. Usually, on this side they don't get tangled or anything. So we have this nice, big, tall, wonderful pocket, and on the inside we have lots of lovely goodies. And of course we have all of this wonderful scrap paper in here. And some of this batch is even wonderfully sparkly. And as you can see we just have bunches of different wonderful you know types of goodies here to play with and just make so many purdies. Um, maybe maybe you haven't seen this paper before and you want to try it out or maybe you know um, you, you just don't have access to these colors or you don't want to buy the entire batch you just you don't, you don't want to buy the entire pack of the, the specific color because you know you're never going to use it. So you just want a bunch of tidbits. Um, I think that's what these are great for. Um, because I know that sometimes there's certain projects I'm working on. And, I mean, there's certain colors that I just, I do not like. But sometimes I'll need a little bit of that color to put into that project. Yeah, now you guys see how these work so wonderful actually you can probably put it up in this one there you go see and of course your washi here on this one you have a couple of strips of wonderful washi i think yeah this one's even a tim holtz piece and it is ready to go just downright beautiful now these i may trim down um i'll probably tear off these edges and and stuff them in this pocket when i get the clip ready because I want the clip to sit right in the middle. Um, when you purchase them for yourself, if you want, don't want the clip sitting in the middle, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't have to. It's all up to the eye of the beholder. So this one is so chunky that I cannot get the clip to stay on it. Uh, the, uh, the binder clip. But I've tested the little clips that I had, the Tim Holtz clips, and they stay on there beautifully. So I'm not worried about it. That's why I did not empty it. Whoever gets this one gets lots of stuffy glory or goodness. So here's that second flower I was telling you guys about. It's so beautiful. I need to get more. And I was going to do green, but because there are beautiful hints of blue, I wanted to add a blue, light blue stone, and I hadn't used a blue stone in a while, or if ever, in any of these, so I just thought it was going to be so beautiful. And I just love these colors. Oh my goodness, I'm tired, guys. I've been so busy. Okay, so I love this pocket. It is too cute. Uh, if you guys haven't already, check out my uh, Instagram because I did a close-up shot of it and listed it on Instagram on Thursday while I was working on these pretties and it came out so beautiful. And of course there's lots of goodies on the inside of the pocket. Kind of want to keep those as a little bit of a surprise. I mean they're they're pretty much already what's in the scrap pack but you know just a little a little fun and curiosity keep you guys guessing a little bit all right so we have all of these beautiful papers in here and of course i had to stick with some of the blue too because of my idea that had the blue stones we got pinks and greens and blues and and the, the coffee stained obviously um and for those of you excuse me that order of paper from my shop um i know some of you have probably noticed that i do not list coffee paper on my options and that's because um i want you guys to request it uh, i usually only do the colored paper so if you want the coffee paper just go ahead and request it and that is perfectly wonderfully fine but usually all of the other colors are included, you know, per request of what you want. Or, you know, just a mix and match of whatever. 
and this wonderful ladder here with all these little pieces and I just got a message on Facebook on little Miss Daisy from someone so I will be with you in a moment <laughs> um here is this lovely with some more washi we have going on here and a wonderful way to store it so that is wonderful I love this one I love the rose I just I do I need I seriously need to get more of these all right it looks like we have one more the last melon I showed mom that from the ice age the other day because she's seen it before she just don't remember <laughs> she got a little kick out of it I'm like mom that's what I mean every time I say the last melon she just started laughing it was silly all right so we have a beautiful camera I love this camera and I love how it has a, a little you know viewfinder it's just it's cute I just love how cute it is and of course the camera's having a hard time focusing but it's just it's adorable and of course this pink little stone it's like this baby powder pink very beautiful of course made with love another one of these little made with love chits and this one needs a clip obviously so this one has a see-through window you can see right there so you can put you know you can put a photo under there or something like that if you like or you could just leave it because this is really pretty too and I think I'm gonna stick like a little Tim Holtz either on the frame or just on the thing I, I'm not sure yet uh, it'll come to me so this is the one that I was telling you guys about that I want to put a piece of velcro on. I only had one of these magnificent, beautiful buttons. And I was so sad because look how beautiful that button is. It's just, oh, it's gorgeous. So um, this one has not been velcroed. It does have some goodies in there though. But uh, this one will be one of the Velcros. You have a little pocket up here. Who knows? Maybe I'll sneak a business card right there. <laughs> or, you know, you can keep some tidbits of information or something really cool up there. Maybe an ATC that you've colored on. And, of course, we got some beautifully dyed papers here. And I got, gave some extra dark yellow ones to this batch because I just thought it would be fun. And really pretty. I just love, and, and you know, I'm not a pink girl. I, I never really was. I think when I was 15 for a minute, I was like very powdery pink girly. It didn't last. It really didn't. I was more of a tomboy. And uh, I, I can honestly say that uh, this journal is very elegantly beautiful. Even being like pink and very girly, it's just, it's like very fanciful you know you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of the sky dancers um it was a cute little cartoon that i got to watch a little bit my mom bought me one of them on vhs and i fell in love with them i'd only ever seen one or two of them and had i been able to i probably actually no joke because i did it with sailor moon <laughs> If I see it now as an adult, I guarantee you I'll, I'll buy it and watch it because it just brings back very fond, wonderful memories. Even Sailor Moon, I'll, I'll sit and watch that for hours. I, I love it. That's my little anime geeky streak right there, Sailor Moon. <laughs> so there's the wonderful, beautiful pink ladder. Very gorgeous. And that is it, everybody. That is all of our beautiful, lovely lady scrap packs that are going to be in the shop on Etsy and available for Black Friday. So definitely go ahead and go check them out. My timer just went off, so I've spent plenty of time with you guys um, getting this video up and ready to go. Now I gotta go turn off the pressure cooker. All right, you guys have a wonderful evening and have a happy, after thanksgiving black friday be safe in all of your shopping and i hope you all have a wonderful night bye